Okay, we're back. Um, as you can see, the drawing set up. It's pretty much ready to, to, to put into our uh, viewport. Um, and as you know, we actually recently prepared this document, and when you go in, it's all pretty much there. The thing we need to do now is just bring this up, and I'm going to bring up our view extent so we can actually have a look at what it looks like. As you've learned from previous lessons, when we click on our viewport here, our scaling, we need to remember our scaling. As you know, our model space doesn't have a scale, it has units of measurement. That can be units of measurement of anything. It could be one, it could be one kilometer, one millimeter, one inch, one micron, whatever. Our paper space is of a scale of one to one. Our model space, there is no scale. Our one to one applies only to the page or the paper that it's on. And as you know, Page Setup Manager, Modify, we're going to select this one which will go to our PDF Creator. Uh, this, is this is A3. We're going to do Layout there, Offset, blah blah blah, but we've got to make sure that this is, this is done properly. And we do 1 to 1000, that means 1 millimeter equals a thousand millimeters or one millimeter equals one unit okay you can use one to one under underscore one but if you use this one to one over here where is it it is actually one mil equals one point one of a unit I'm still trying to work that one out but I think it is one mil to one mil. Okay? You need to make sure it's one to one. If you want to do it manually, you can do it that way. Or one to a thousand. Okay? That needs to be set up correctly for this to work properly. Click OK. Click close. Okay, and now we can go through here and set our scales here. Now, as you know previously, remember this is is in metric and imperial. Now what we need to do is reset that again. So go into the options, go 1000, hit the reset button. We want to do it as metric. And again, you can see that this whole thing has been set to metric now. Click OK and now it gives us an option. Now for this exercise again, we don't need the full thing, all we need is this area where we've got the, the, the water area. And I'm going to just try this one, 1 to 5,000. And look, I think we could probably use that as it is. And again, I'm going to select the edge of the viewport here bring it in a little bit just so that we're getting you know about half of it whoops okay if you'd like again you've got to double click in it to move it around out there okay double click out of it to get out of that area and we are going to add two more viewports one in here and one down the bottom the one in the top, we're going to make it a 3D view, and the one at the bottom, we're going to do that as a uh, scale, just overlooking that whole area there. So, to do the first one, remember what we have to do to add the viewport? Go to your home, make sure we go to our viewport option, which under our trivial civil 3D tools is sort of here, but we're going to actually have to go into... 2D annotation because it doesn't have the tool I want. So where are we? Home view. Click on my viewport. In fact, I've got a feeling we do have that in the, under our 
3D under our 3D tool we've got to make sure we click on our view and then there are view option we do have this new viewport again I'm going to add, add it as a single one click OK because we're going to add these in manually one at a time and that will do, pull it down to about out there and again it's only a guess, it looks like a square apply it and we're going to add a new, another one and we're going to do this one again as a single we're going to add this in and there drag it to the bottom of that there. And again, it's a guesstimation. If I really want to, I could make it a bit better, but this is a guess. Now, I'm going to do this bottom one, so double click in it first. Okay, you can see we've got the tools there. And again, I'm going to scale it. Let's try 1 to 2000. Where's my little river? I think I'm actually scaling it by accident. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now again, what have we got? One, two, two thousand. Too small. Let's go up to one to one thousand. That looks like about it. You can see that we've got our measurements in place. You can see them there. We know that we've got our what area there in place and that one's pretty much done the only other thing is this one we are going to do this one as a 3d view and also with this one we're going to have no well now again see what I did is I actually use my scroll and as you know from our previous class we need to lock that layer and again there it is. Viewport lock. And viewport lock. 